Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your story Lord of the Mad. I love the first is our major spiffening, level 22, boxes mad when good to strike it as 13. And all around here Can I get down to slide in a mo more sensible manner? No. And the swings will always be perfectly balanced. At least that's you sort of thing. Yay! What's the prize? You sure showed him, didn't you? I, I suppose it wasn't the most cerebral way to deal with the situation, but it was definitely effective. Consider the game won. And with that, you win a prize. Your prize is one question which I will answer to the best of my ability. Um... Where's my father? Ah, yes. A predictable question, I suppose. Your father is here, in Tranquility Lane. He is quite safe for now, though he can no longer hound me with his incessant questioning. Perhaps you will see more of him in time. What have you done to him? Were I you, I'd be more concerned with myself at the moment. And besides, we're done with questions for now. Perhaps we'll address it at a later time. First, I have something else for you to do. What do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. How about no? Fine. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion. Doesn't matter, it's a simulation which we will end anyway. Dad? Good talk. Alright, so Rockwell Residence. What am I supposed to do? Tell them I'm a bastard? Hi. Hey there, sport, how's it going? Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Now see here. That's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. Why can't people just understand that and just leave us alone? Betty wants me to break up your marriage. Now that's not funny. Not one bit. Have you seen my dad? He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find him soon. I think I did. Nice day, isn't it? You won't find a day like this anywhere else. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. None of this is real, it's all some crazy experiment. Sure, sport, whatever you say. <laughs> bye bye. Take care now. Good day. Hi. Well, hi there. <laughs> Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Our marriage? Well, goodness, what kind of a question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. Betty wants me to break up your marriage. What? Now that's a ridiculous thing to say. You kids need to find some different games to play. Have you seen my dad? Your dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. It's very nice. We're doing quite well. None of this is real. It's all a crazy experiment. Oh, you're such a kidder. I hate to break it to you, but I saw your husband kissing some other woman. What a horrible thing to say. Is that your idea of a joke? No. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How oh, very... Confused they must be with their emotions. All right. Um. Got that water is best water, best water in this area. Nowhere else to get such good toilet water. Why are they not? Why do they have different beds? I just don't know what to do anymore. Man, Roger is not in that stupid basement. He's outside street talking that hussy, Martha Simpson. He claims there's nothing between them, but I know it's all a lie. I found the woman's bed at once on Roger's workbench, but of course I said nothing. That's me, Janet Rockwell, prim and proper housewife, living a perfect life here on Tranquility Lane. Some days I wish I really had beat her to death with that rolling pin. 
Then Russia would know I'm the only girl in the world. That's very nice. Can you do that to Petty? Probably not, she'd be terminated. Yeah, basement. Can I have your rolling pin? Oh, wait. Seriously? <laughs> Best touch. Oh, yeah. No, a rolling pin. What is there down here in the basement? Oh, I have nothing interesting to place there. Guess I need to go to the Simpsons residence and steal Marge's stuff. I mean, Martha's stuff. And put Martha's stuff over there. Hello. Hello, Martha Simpson. Good day to you. Hi. Uh, have you seen my dad? I don't think so. But then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. A nice day, isn't it? I suppose. I hadn't really noticed. What can you tell me about the uh, neighborhood? I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time. And, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. It's not a very convincing simulation. Can you see the seam on her arm? Um, this is a pretty convincing simulation, though. Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not in the mood for jokes. And what can you tell me about the Rockwell's marriage? Why are you asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about their marriage anyway? If you say so. People around here should mind their own business. I am under the implication that you really bye do bye. not care about their marriage. And I'm supposed to make that... Well... Something that Janet also perceives... To be fact. Alright, this means stealing all their stuff. Could I have pickpocketed Martha? It's also very nice that they don't lock their doors, but... Why wouldn't you in this environment? Alrighty then. Lacy underwear, sure. Put it right on. Oh, I can sleep as well. One of the few things I can do, I suppose. Let's quick save in case I accidentally murder myself again. Oh, Mabel, did you want to look for a new robot? I know you're not comfortable not a with good yours. Idea. Martha, do you have anything you just think? No, I cannot pick pocket anyway. So, let's put Lacey under there in Roger's desk. And... Tell... Janet. That we have some interesting information... To share with her. Yeah, that's nice. In fact, Roger is just a cross-dresser. There's nothing to worry about. Good day to you. Hi. Uh, you better come down to the basement. There's something you need to see. What were you doing in our basement? What's down there? Trust me. Okay, if you say so. You have really done a job on the running pin. It's kind of broken. Have you What's seen this? this? Women's clothing? Down here? Yes. Yes, it is. What? What the hell is this? It looks like your Roger is a fan of women's clothing. But... This isn't mine. What is this doing here? Maybe it's his, you know, for him to wear where no one is looking. Oh my god. Roger. He... He wouldn't. But... Maybe I played this card wrong. Rot okay. Wait, killing them was an option then? I was unre unaware of that. Hello. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am slightly impressed. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. Now what? To the point, aren't we? 
I've been having so much fun, I see no reason to stop now, huh? Let's try something new, shall we? I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. Find an interesting way to do it, please. I'm curious to see how creative you can be. Isn't Mabel the only one that believes me? Why should I kill her? Why? Nah. Still you resist me, when you know that I have the answers you seek. Well, I am not going to beg you. You know what I ask of you, and so you know what you must do to retain my favor. What have you done with my father? Have you met Doc the dog? He's another new arrival, much like yourself. He might seem a bit <laughs> familiar to you, huh? Who are you? If you insist on an answer, then you may better know me as Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I've chosen a different appearance for myself here, in my own little playground. Right. You know that I am Dr. Braun. Anything else is irrelevant. Perhaps you should be focusing your energy on what I've asked of you. Nah. Mabel's waiting for you. Papa? Dad, is that really you? That's... That's nice. How do I activate the gnome? I kind of would just prefer not doing any of Mabel's bidding. I mean, that is bidding. Brown spitting. I am not just... I can't look at the quest log either. Never mind. Mabel, Mabel. Where are you? Good day to you. Oh, you're not the one that I know. Have you seen my dad? No, I haven't. But when I do, I'll tell him you're looking for him. Thank you. Nice day, isn't it? Well, of course it is. What a silly thing to say. What else would it be? A less nice day? What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Well, there's certainly never a dull moment. I think it's like any other street, really. Always something to see and always something to talk about. There are no other streets. This is, what, some kind of computer simulation? Computer what now? Why don't you go find Timmy and have a nice game of catch? I, I, he probably is about to speak Take care to now. I, 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 Hello. I may have made him cry. Because your evil overlord asked me to. Hmm. Whom does this belong to? The Hendersons. Then I can prepare a trap. Hello. Where did, oh. Janet, why are you here? Good day to you, young master. The Hello. Henderson estate is in tip-top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day. Well. Initiate security program. Well, we need Mabel here for that. It would be effective there. Yeah, fiddle with it. Let's just get the job done. Mabel, is that you? Hello. Hi, Mabel. So whenever you're able, Mabel, do walk under this chandelier. Thank you. Can I have your loot? Oh. The Henderson Estate is in tip-top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day. Tip-top shape indeed. Alright. I guess this is another episode of that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time on Fallout Frame. Going to Red City together. Dad. Even when you're sprinting like a madman. There is no actual sprint button, so it doesn't really make any difference.